The Critical Path Learning Center of Philadelphia Fight has recently released a COVID-19 online resource guide, which includes all kinds of organizations and services that are offering services to people in Philadelphia during the COVID-19 crisis. So I hope you'll be able to find something useful in this guide. I'll walk you through how to use this. So the first step is going to be to go to the Critical Path website, which is critpath.org. Once you're there, click this COVID-19 online resources, and that'll take you to this page where you wanna click COVID-19 resources spreadsheet. So this takes you to the master spreadsheet of all the different resources we've been adding to the guide. And a lot of these resources are free and open to the public. Although of course you'll wanna check the individual websites just to make sure that that's true. So this first resource that we are on is the benefit resources. And in here, you'll find, of course, benefits, but also all different kinds of supportive services. So this includes mental health, case management. You know, you can see different kinds of services over here. We've got a hotline, domestic violence hotline, mental health kinds of things, social security. If you scroll to the right, you can find the contact information here, the website, um, and then the hours of operation, as well as some special instructions on each of the services. In this next category over, food resources, we have all of the different um, food sites where you can pick up free food in Philadelphia. We also have a bunch of different uh, food pantries and things that are handing out free food during this time. And you'll find all of that information, including the hours and and special instructions over here to the right. The next tab over is grocery stores. And this is a list of a bunch of different grocery stores that are still open during the crisis. And it includes their websites, their hours, um, special instructions, which has information on you know, what they might be out of, just so that you know whether you really need to risk it to go into these grocery stores or not. The next resource over is housing resources which includes all kinds of shelters in Philadelphia, including transitional housing and kind of longer term housing as well. And it tells you what populations each shelter serves and intake hours, all kinds of information there for you. The next one is medical resources. So this has all the clinics and health services and hospitals that are still open and taking patients in Philadelphia during this time. This spreadsheet even includes some of the COVID-19 testing sites in Philadelphia. So if you kind of scroll down here, you'll see some of those. So if you're showing any symptoms of COVID and think you might want to get tested, it has instructions on how to do that. The next tab over is phone and internet service providers. So there are a bunch of different companies during this time that are offering special deals on internet and phone. They're kind of acknowledging that people really need those services right now. So for example, Internet Essentials is giving people a deal on internet for $9.95 a month. Um, you find all kinds of different services that they're only offering during this time. So you really want to take advantage of it now. The next tab over is the Faith Resources. And this has, at the top, we have a list of individuals who have kind of volunteered to help people with, you know, spiritual questions, spiritual needs during this time. And it includes our contact information there. And down here, we have a list of churches and other places of worship that are live streaming their services. So if you want to participate in a, a worship service during this time, here's a good list to go to. The last tab over here is the hotlines and websites. So this just has a list of all the different hotlines, you know, national, local, that are still serving people and taking calls. So if you have some kind of crisis, this is, and need to talk to somebody, um, this is a good place to go to look for that. So that is kind of a summary of all of the different resources we have in this resource guide. Um, I hope that it'll be useful to you. If you see any resources that we do not have, there is a way to submit resources or suggest them to us. So you're just going to go back to this web, 
this page and click on the appropriate form here. So if you have a food resource that we hadn't listed in the guide, you're going to click on the food resource form and then just fill out all this information here about the um, service or organization and click submit. So I hope you'll find what you're looking for. But if you don't, or if you have any trouble using this guide, you can always contact us. So our phone number is listed here on our homepage, 215-985-4448, extension 140.